Hi, my name is Roxana. During the next hour, you will be sharing in the intimacy of a massage session. Remember that a massage can be delightful and therapeutic. And in this video, we will describe the elements that can help for an ideal massage. Massage is one of the closest contacts two people can have. So it is very important to create the right atmosphere of warmth and intimacy. Choose a time of day when both of you will be undisturbed and free for at least an hour. Choose a quiet place where you find it easy to relax. Adjust the lighting to a soft light or maybe just light some candles. It is not important to see what you are doing but more to follow your feelings. It is always recommended to work on a massage table as this lessens back strain for the person giving the massage. If you do it on the floor or on a bed, be aware of your posture. A good way to prepare the massage area is to lay a blanket down and cover this with a sheet. Remember, it is very important to use a fresh and clean sheet every time. During the massage, the body temperature drops, so have another sheet or towel close by to cover the parts of the body that you're not working on. Another essential element for a beautiful session is the music. Music penetrates our unconscious in a very subtle way. It helps us to relax and can really take us to inner spaces of great pleasure and sensitivity. Choosing soft and pleasant music encourages relaxation and intimacy. Aromatherapy is the art of using pure essential oils to enhance the body's own natural healing ability and restore the body to a state of balance. The essential oils are absorbed through the skin via the hair follicle. Aromatherapy stimulates the sense of smell and combined with touch during a massage, it really helps us to enter the world of the senses. Quality essential oils can be up to 70 times more concentrated than the plant source. So only eight to 10 drops are needed for a full body massage. You can dilute it in a carrier oil of your choice. The essential oils work on the emotional and physical body and outer skin care. Usually, three different essential oils are combined in a massage blend. You can mix them in a bottle or a bowl. Here are a few examples of the essential oils and the properties. Lavender has a gentle, soothing and calming effect. It activates the immune system and helps in cell rejuvenation. Juniper has a clearing effect on the mind, relieving emotional tension. It purifies the body and assists weight loss. Geranium helps to balance mood swings and emotional highs and lows. This oil also helps with hormonal changes. Frankincense is a calming oil that aids meditation. It is an excellent oil to disperse fear and comfort the spirit. Sandalwood has an aroma that brings courage and releases irrational fears. It also has the reputation as an aphrodisiac. It is essential for both of you to stay aware of your breathing during the massage. Awareness of the breath will help the person giving the massage to remain centered 
and relaxed. While receiving the massage, you can visualize the tension and with each out-breath, release it. Enjoy the breathing. It helps the massage and awakens life energy. And now, I would like to introduce Anna, who will be receiving the massage. Anna, could you lie on your stomach? First, I will demonstrate to you the eight most common strokes that we will use in this session. There are many different ways to massage, and each one of us will have our own unique style. Intuition is very important. Trust yourself. The first stroke I will show you is effleurage. Keep the palms and fingers relaxed, just following the shape of the body underneath them. And the second stroke, it's called pétrissage. This stroke is done with the whole hand, pressing the muscles and feeling the bones. It is usually slow and even. The third stroke is friction. With one or more fingers, or with the palm, we rub an area in circles. We feel the skin move on the muscles. The fourth is called acupressure, or jatsu. This stroke applies pressure to the points that correspond to different organs. With the pressure, we can balance the energy. The fifth is the stretch. Apply this pulling movement to the legs and the arms, holding them and stretching the muscles. The sixth is stroking. The seventh stroke is done with the forearm. Using the weight of the body and the bones of the forearm, this movement is very useful for massaging the back. And the last stroke is applied with the fist. Pressure with the fist can be applied on the thick muscle areas, such as the buttocks. Now we are going to start the massage session. I suggest that you first watch the video so you can practice with a friend. Enjoy the music and the experience of giving and receiving.
Start the massage by making contact with the person through the feet. Softly laying your hands for a few seconds, creating the energy link. A massage is an intimate and sensual experience. It is very helpful to create a trusting and easy dialogue with the recipient. We can ask them if there is any needs or considerations to be aware of. Place one hand under the buttocks and the other over the hip. Pull down and stroke along the entire leg. Lay one hand under the shoulder blade and the other on the shoulder. Slide down softly along the arm to the fingers. Apply this pulling movement to the legs and the arms, holding them and stretching the muscles. Place one hand on the sacrum and the other on the heart. Keep an intimate contact with the person receiving the massage and be sensitive to the movements, expression, and breathing throughout the session. Trust your hands and their sensitivity. Remember, the arms and the hands are extensions of the heart. You can use the weight of your body to do the work. Apply pressure with long strokes, moving softly back down the sides. Establish a rhythm of pressure. Apply more pressure on the exhalation and let up slightly on the inhalation.
Use the thumbs to apply pressure on the points along both sides of the spine. Remember always to wrap the oil in your hands to generate heat. You can use friction along the middle area of the arm. With the thumb, knead the palms. Knead each finger, pulling them gently.
follow the shape of the shoulder blades with your fingers. Pressure with the fist can be applied on the thick muscle areas such as the buttocks. Use kneading strokes on the buttocks. Apply flat pressure on the hamstrings.
Knead the middle of the upper leg using pressure with the thumbs. Gently wrap the back of the knee. The feet are the reflex maps of the body and the organs. You can apply the shiatsu pressure all over the feet. Follow your intuition on how much pressure to use, where to work longer, and keep a dialogue with your friend. Bend the leg and massage the calves. The massage can be relaxing for both people. Take your time and enjoy each stroke. Tell your friend to feel the weight of the body becoming heavier and the relaxation becoming deeper. Always make sure that the person is comfortable in each position. When turning over onto the back, you can ask them if they would like a pillow under the knees. You can stretch the leg from the knee. The area along the bone and the muscle of the legs contain reflex points which connect with the internal organs. With the thumbs, you can rub the top of the feet. 
holding the foot with one hand, you can stroke the toes one by one.
Apply oil to the belly and softly apply pressure around it in a clockwise direction. This is a very sensitive area of the body and sometimes brings up emotions. Pay attention to your friend's feelings. To help the energy flow, it is important to wrap the whole torso softly. When you massage the chest, it is important to stay with the breathing. Holding the hand, let the arm hang loose. Use friction along the whole arm. With the thumb, knead the palm. Knead each finger softly. Finish with a soft stroke along the arms.
the end of the table so that you are in a better position to massage the head. Follow the shape of the chest, shoulders and neck. Placing the hands under the middle of the shoulder blades, you can start massaging the back of the neck. You can suggest to your friend to allow the weight of the head to sink into your hands. Turning the head to one side, apply pressure softly to the neck muscles.
Pressure on the forehead will help the person to relax immensely. Softly follow the jawbone. Stroke along the bones of the face. Circle the temples with two or three fingers. Squeeze the ear gently with your thumb and forefinger. A soft friction over the scalp will release tension held in the head. The eyes are the windows to the soul. Placing the hands over them, we can bring up beautiful emotions and deep relaxation. At the end of the massage, softly invite your friend to remain relaxed for a few minutes before getting up. Now, in this moment of intimacy and openness, savor the language of touch. <laughs> 